good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another 3d printer project friends today we're going to slap marlin on the gee tech a10m so let's get cracking friends the first step is to install visual studio code as you can see right here i was working with marlin a little bit earlier on a different printer i'm going to close that by simply hitting file close folder because I'm done with that project. Now we're starting here because I found that just about every time I launch Visual Studio Code, there are updates and I want it to update. You also need to make sure that you have Platform IO installed and we're also gonna use Auto Build Marlin. This is my first time showing Auto Build Marlin, but I found this the last time I was playing with firmware. It is pretty darn epic. If you have not added these yet, you can go to extensions and then you can type auto build and you'll find it. And then also make sure you have platform IO. Speaking of the updates, if you look all the way at the bottom, see how I got this gear? There is an update. So right now I need to restart to let that update happen. Friends, now that we've got that step out of the way, let's find some firmware. If you visit the 3D printers page, I have got a link to the Marlin GitHub. There are a few things we need here. First, we're going to grab Marlin. Then we're going to grab the configuration. Make sure you do both steps. Once again, here's more information about the auto build Marlin. So let's first grab our firmware. If we go to Marlin, I like to pick bug fix 2.1. You can choose a different one, but that's what I like to pick. Then we simply go to code and we go to download zip. Bingo. You've got your firmware, put it wherever you want. This is the first time I've saved this one. I'm gonna put it in my downloads. Bam, that step's finished. Now we need to back up. So I'm gonna click on the Marlin firmware link and we need to find all the configurations. So these steps are really useful for a ton of different printers. I'm just showing you for the A10M from GTEC. So first let's make sure we switch to the correct one. Remember we were playing with bug fix 2.1x so now that i've got that done i can go to code and we're going to do download bingo we've got both pieces let's hit save and i'll show you how to move the configuration so that you're ready to look at your firmware i've launched explorer i'm in my downloads let's unzip bug fix i'm going to just do extract here so it makes that and then i'm also going to do right click unzip and i'm going to extract the configurations here as well does make their own folders you'll see those show up right out here we need to visit the configurations go into the config files we need to do examples and you need to find your printer now once again we are playing with the GE tech and we need to find the a10m now there are two kinds of a10ms there's a stock lcd and there's the 4.1 now you need to fire up your printer and see which version you've got so friends, to check your board info, now I don't have stock, so it's gonna be a little different, but you need to go down and find your About Printer tab. When you go to Board Info, it'll show you which one you've got. As you can see, I've got the V3. And that gets me set up for the rest of this firmware process. As you can see from those steps, I've got the older one, so I'm using the stock LCD. I need to take these two files. I'm going to copy them. That way I can reuse this later if I want to. Let's go back to downloads. We need to enter the original zip folder. We need to enter the Marlin folder and the default configuration files are there. Now we need to get rid of those. I'm gonna hit delete. I'm gonna hit right click. I'm gonna hit paste. Bang, I've got my new configuration files added and we're ready to move to Visual Studio Code. Friends, I am back in Visual Studio Code. I do wanna remind you, playing with firmware is always dangerous. You need to know that you're assuming the risk whenever you start playing with this firmware. Right now we're gonna hit open folder. I'm gonna to navigate to my downloads. There's my Marlin folder. And we're gonna stop right here. Don't go in the folder just stop you'll notice that i paused and let it do all its tracking down and it found the pieces so auto build marlins are right here and it opened platform io now that we've got it open let's go into that marlin folder and let's find our configuration h i'm going to just scroll through this to look through what it's got notice it says i've got the stock lcd uh this one did not have an author i'm not sure who made that if we go down here, it does mention that I've got the older V3, which I showed you. We did double check that. Right down here, it's got a custom machine name. 
So I do want to name this, and I'm going to call it the HLMT A10M. And friends, right there, that is the only adjustment I'm going to make. You can keep looking through these thousands of lines of code. I'm not really interested. You can also double check your config advanced. I just don't. It's, I'm not interested in making a lot of modifications. I just want to get Marlin on the printer. So I've made that one modification. Friends, now I'm gonna go back to the Auto Build Marlin tab. And just like that, I'm gonna hit Build to actually make the new firmware. Now, unfortunately, mine popped in air. Friends, let me show you a fix. All right, friends, so the first step was to close VSC. Now I'm going to my users. Once you're in your username, find Platform IO. First, go to the dot .cache, grab everything in there, and let's do a Shift Delete so it gets rid of them. When that's done, I'm going to go back and I'm going to find the packages folder. Now, all this is doing is making sure we don't have anything corrupted. Now, when we do shift delete and clean those out, then we can return to VSC and let's try those steps one more time. Of course, step one is to launch VSC. Friends, once it opens, I'm going to use the sweet auto build Marlin. We can actually click right here and pick our folder. Once again, remember mine was in the downloads and it's in the bug fix folder. We stop right here. Do not go in. Marlin, just hit select. Let it load its pieces and parts. You will notice that there is an update. Friends, if we take a peek at the auto build, we have got our machine name, which we put in. It still knows everything about it being a V3. We've got our mixing extruder. Everything is ready for the 2560. And now it's time to hit build. Just make sure you're patient as it downloads, finds all the pieces, and then actually starts creating the firmware. And then boom, your firmware is created and ready for uploading. All right, friends. So here I am powering it on. And you can see that my GE Tech A10M was currently using the stock firmware. So friends, I have connected the printer with USB and now we can simply hit upload. And friends, after a few moments, we will have an updated A10M. There you can see it is in flashing mode. Friends, you can see that the writing is happening on this screen, but you'll notice from another chunk of video, you cannot see a thing as it's happening. Check it out, friends. Firmware update complete. It does actually finish. That's when you'll be able to spot this screen refresh. And when it comes back, you will see that you have Marlin 2.1 installed. All right, friends, when it is complete, I'm going to move it over to reset. It says setting stored. Let's go down and check about printer, printer info. You can see that we are now using Marlin Bug Fix 2.1. How cool is that? All right, everybody. So there you have it. Pretty simple steps for you to use Visual Studio Code and Auto Build Marlin to update just about any 3D printer. Now, I do want to remind you, we are on my website, hlmodtech.com. I have a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Finally, friends, if you found this video useful, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day